Hey, I'm Dave Klein of GameZombie.tv, and I'm here with Martin, the creator of the Driver series. Now, Martin, you got the new Driver game, Driver San Francisco, coming out. Can you tell us what some of the big changes are, like the shift element? That's huge. Can you tell us what that is? Uh, yes, that's one of the biggest, uh, most innovative features that we have in the game. It's a truly game-changing feature, and what it allows uh, the player to do is to be over the city, to see all the cars, identify the cars, and at a moment's notice, you can instantly and seamlessly shift into and between different cars. Is there any way you can implement that in real life? Obviously, Driver is very much rooted in reality, so the way we deal with that in the story is that Tanner, in the beginning of the game, is involved in a serious uh, incident, and it puts him into a coma. So, but he doesn't realize he's in a coma. He thinks he's gained a strange but amazing uh, new ability to, to be above the world and swap between these cars and so on, but in actual fact he's in a coma. And the interest for the player is how that pans out. How does he find out? How does the player bring him out of that coma? And how does real life and the coma interact? We brought two key characters back from the first game, which is uh, John Tanner, the undercover cop from Driver 1, and Jericho is arch enemy from Driver 2. And uh, what's happened is this game takes place a couple of years after the events of Driver 3, where Tanner was shot in the back by Jericho. So Jericho has been uh, extradited, he's been tried, and he's actually going down for sentencing for that crime, and that's where we pick up the action. Are there any other big implementations of the game outside of the shift feature? Uh, that are new, brand new things. We have, uh, for the first time in a Driver game, um, over a lic uh, 100 licensed cars, well over 100 licensed cars, and a very interesting selection of cars as well. Iconic cars, rather than the usual suspects. They're not all high-performance cars. They're not all luxury sedans. We've chosen um, uh, cars that are based on what you might remember from a car chase. So think of any famous car chase movie, and probably that car is in the game. It sounds like an interesting and awesomely unique idea, and I'm really looking forward to it. So um, what, what's the release date on the game planned to be? Um, the release date is this uh, quarter, end of quarter, the, uh, the holiday season, Christmas. And uh, we're releasing on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC, and uh, Mac as well. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. And again, that's Driver San Francisco coming out sometime by the end of this year. Hi, I'm Shannon Elizabeth, and I'm here representing House Party, and you are watching Game Zombie TV. Game Zombie TV.